Well, here I am out on my uh, remote Arizona property again. I'm about to set up the old wind turbine again to supplement my solar panels, but um, be a little different this year. Um, I've modified the wind turbine and I'm, I'm about to install some new blades on it. Um, these are supposedly super efficient uh, um, blades that I got off of the internet and uh, they were they were relatively cheap um, so I'm going to give them a try they're supposedly going to be much more efficient than the, my homemade blades we'll see I brought the homemade blades too just in case these things don't work but they, they look pretty pretty good I think they'll work <clears throat> they're heavier than my old blades and uh, they have more surface area to them so I had to modify the wind turbine a little bit I added a um, a second piece of metal to it to increase the size of the tail. It didn't quite double the size of the tail, but I increased the size of the tail. Um, and that also helps counterbalance it because the blades are, like I said, they're, they're heavier than the old blades. And I wanted to make sure that um, the, the, the turbine was balanced and that it had enough tail surface to keep it uh, pointed into the wind because uh, the blades have uh, more surface area. didn't want it to have it uh, too much surface area up front and not enough out back for it to snap around in the light winds. So I'm just uh, just getting started assembling it. Uh, once I get it all put together, I'll I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll 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 erect the tower, get it up on the tower, and we'll see how well it works once the wind gets up. It's kind of early in the morning, and right now it's dead calm, but it's supposed to be windy later today. So we'll see how it works. Okay, the new blades are installed by some minor miracle. The hub that was supplied with them had a couple of holes, well, three holes that lined up with the uh, with the blade holes in my homemade hub. So I just uh, bolted their their supplied hub right onto the uh, existing hub. So I don't know. That's that's some kind of minor miracle there. So they're installed. Um, the turbine is fully assembled now, and it's ready to go up on the uh, on the pole. And I've been rushing. I'm a little winded. I've been rushing to get everything together. I got the pole up out there. And uh, I wanted to get it together because these blades are supposedly really good for um, light winds. And it's still pretty calm right now, but the wind's starting to get up a little bit. It's sort of coming from random directions until it settles into its usual afternoon pattern of a stiff breeze coming out of the west and the south. So um, I wanted to get it up while the breezes were still light to see just how well these new blades uh, worked in the light winds. And uh, something else I'll show you. People write to me and they ask me how do they how do I attach the uh, the tail to the uh, to the wind turbine? And basically, uh, you know, the wind turbine is basically set up on a on a two by four, just super simple. And the tail is just a piece of sheet metal, which I bolt to a um, like a three quarter by three quarter square dowel uh, with through bolts, and then I use wood screws to go through the dowel into the 2x4. Couldn't be simpler. Uh, it works pretty well. It's worked for many years. So uh, that's how the tail's uh, put on. Okay, I'm going to get this up on the tower and uh, hopefully the wind will come up here a little bit and we'll see it turning. Well, there it is up. Just waiting for the wind to come up. Those new blades look wicked up there. Yeah. Can't wait for the wind to start blowing a little bit, see how much power they produce in light breeze. Speaking of power, got my 60 watt solar panel out. That was a lot easier to put up, just, just lean it against a bin and wire it into the controller, so that was up uh, very early, producing power already. One little gotcha with these new blades is uh, the leading edges and the tips of them are very, very sharp. And I mean, you can see it, I've already cut myself minor, but a good little reminder that I do not want to get anywhere near these blades while they are spinning or body parts are liable to go flying. So I'll have to be a little more careful with my homemade blades with their blunt edges. These are really sharp. I'll show you more once it's spinning. Well, while I'm waiting for the wind to get up, I guess I can show you the rest of my uh, setup here. The line from the uh, wind turbine comes all the way over here. To under my canopy. Protect me from the sun, mostly. Not calling for any rain while I'm out here. The sun's kind of brutal, though. And then over here to my new uh, 
charge controller, battery pack, inverter unit, all in one easy to carry package. Well, it's kind of heavy. The battery is about as big as a car battery, and about that heavy, but it's a deep cycle sealed lead acid battery. So I can really discharge it and recharge it. I was up late last night catching up online, answering emails and stuff, just because I've been on the road for quite a while. I got way out of touch with what was going on. So I uh, ran the battery down a little bit. Just the solar panel this morning, though, has, uh, let's see here. Yeah, well, four, not quite 14 volts. So it's, uh, it's uh, recharged it pretty much fully. So, um, don't really have any load on the system right now than my electric shaver recharging after my morning shave. But uh, I'll be online again later. I've got some YouTube videos to upload, including probably this one and edit and uh, some other things to do. I'll have some other appliances running and uh, putting load on the system. So hopefully the uh, wind turbine will get going pretty soon and uh, give me some extra power because I'll probably need it. Oh, and new this year, almost forgot, I have a new, uh, a new thing. I have LED lighting up here under my canopy. I don't know if you can see them there in the video. They're uh, little LED lights. Um, they're like um, LED replacements for backup lights in cars. Uh, they only draw 100 milliamps, but they are amazingly bright. Uh, they, they'll light up this area under the canopy like daylight at night. So, and they, they have almost no draw on the battery, so it's great. So uh, I don't have to use the old lantern so much anymore. It doesn't put out that much light anyway. But these things, they really do. Without drawing the battery down too much. It's wonderful. Anyway. There'll be more when the wind turbine is turning. Well, the wind's up and the turbine is spinning away. This is great. Uh, these new blades do seem to start up at lower wind speeds than my uh, homemade blades. And that seems to be translating into more power production because the charge controller just a few minutes ago switched over to dumping power into the dummy load, which means that uh, the battery's fully charged. I wouldn't have expected that this early in the morning considering how how much I depleted it yesterday. So, uh, yeah, the turbine's putting out some serious power. I love it. Probably putting out more power than I can use right now since it's all being burned up in the dummy load at the moment. I guess I could bring out more electrical appliances with me now. This is great. Love these new blades.